Hey folks, Steve Turner, Realtor with Caldwell Banker here again on the road. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about learning not every single person is really cut out to be a real estate professional. Somebody I'm pretty close to actually was able to help teach me this lesson. They are, they do not necessarily understand retail. Working with customers, working with the public. Their background, a little bit more in the office setting. Actually, medical insurance, medical billing of medical insurance companies actually. So, as you can imagine, their take on things dealing with the general public is a lot different than a successful agent's uh, view of the market. Being that I work in a model home most of my time, I, my, my sign, it's like an open house every day, my sign might say, hey, I'm here till six o'clock. But guess what? If someone shows up at six o'clock, I'm going to take care of them, okay? So if you're like, hey, well, you know, I'm planning to get out of work at six o'clock, I'll catch up with you at you know, 6.30, around the corner, whatever. And 6 o'clock, somebody comes. Well, those plans change a little bit. Depends what that what that plan really is. Um, so that you can take care of customers. Well, somebody working in a office setting like that who doesn't deal with customers, they just deal with numbers on paper, they don't always get that. And then when you're not there, they're like, well, what do you mean? You know, it's like, well, because somebody was there, you had to help them. It's the same thing, um, you know, selling homes, you know, you're, you're working with people, you're doing, you're interacting with them. Hey, look, I'm thinking about buying, you know, well, let me think about it, you know, and I'll, I'll give you an offer, you know, that I want, I want you to present an offer here, you know, we'll talk about it again tomorrow. Well, tomorrow comes, they don't get in touch with you, you're, you're giving them a phone call, you've lost touch, a week goes by, they're like, yeah, we decided against it. We're not gonna make an offer on that house. In fact, honestly, Steve, I don't even know if we're gonna move. Hmm. Okay, things like that do happen. Same thing, you list somebody's house, um, or somebody tells you, yeah, I'm working on my house. As you can see, there's snow around me now. So I've got folks that have been saying, hey, look, you know, I want you to come list my home here next month. I want you to come list my home here next month. A month ago, I had the same thing. People saying, hey, I want you to come list my home this month. Well, guess what? A month has come and gone and, well, I don't know that I'm really ready to sell. Maybe it'll be another three months. Or, you know what, hey, you know what? The more I thought about it, Aunt Nance is a realtor and, and, and we're going to use her instead unfair but I can certainly understand the family relationship not so sure they're going to be the best for your equity relationship but I, I get it I get it things like that happen and as a as a professional we get used to dealing with that that is part of our business part of our nature you know we, we have a whole in sales you know half of our presentation is overcoming objections you know People have objections. That's natural. Okay? So it doesn't mean we can get mad or angry at them. But again, there's a lot of folks that come from different backgrounds that don't always have the ability to see with the correct lens. So I guess this is a long about way of saying, hey, when you're looking to deal with a professional, when you're ready to actually deal with somebody who's going to professionally protect your equity, sell your house to the best of their ability, and for top dollar in this, in whatever market you're in, it takes a very certain special person. Somebody who has the foresight, somebody who has the mentality, who can interact with people, who can convey the correct message and get your house the attention it needs while being respectful of all involved. Again, it's something very, very hard to do. So if you had somebody who's been an accountant all their life and now the accountant is retired and figures, hey, 
I can go sell real estate. Again, I would highly encourage you to look for somebody who has the professional skill set needed to interact with customers and the general public. Trust me, your relationship will benefit for that. If you're in central Pennsylvania and you need somebody to help you, let me be your guy. I'm probably best equipped with those skills. If you're watching this and you're nowhere near central Pennsylvania, have no fear. I've recently expanded my business and I'm now able to help folks in all 50 states. Just reach me directly and I will find a way to find a true professional like myself, the best one in your area, to get to work for you. Hey, thanks for tuning in. And please, please do me a favor. I don't care. I can't, I'm driving right now, so I can't get on my hands and knees, but can I please beg you to, to hit the subscribe button down there? I would greatly appreciate it. Hey, thanks so very much. And again, this is Steve Turner, top agent in central Pennsylvania, looking forward to taking care of you soon.